Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, what we're going to be doing in this series is, like I said just a moment ago, pretty much carry on with what we're doing. So, what we're going to do is carry on with this method of printing out the version number before we do any comparison. So, what we need to do next is actually call this method. So, if we go back to our main plugin class, we'll create a new property um, of this class, which will be protected again and this is going to be our update checker and let's just call it update checker Okay. so what we'll do is create this new object new update uh, checker first parameter is the plugin which is just this second parameter is the URL which we're passing in and I'll just go to um, my browser again to copy and paste that we don't want that do you want that? So that's our URL. So we'll just paste that there. That's the link to our RSS feed. And now you can see what I meant about that exception, uh, because we're passing this in as a string. It's never going to be wrong if it's, you know, not wrong there. So that's not why that's not to be worried about. So then what we'll do is just call the update checkers update needed method, and we'll worry about the result of that in a moment because we haven't actually had it returned true yet. So let's just export this and see what happens. So we'll start the server and we should see, fingers crossed, um, the version number of the plugin and the link to it printed out when it starts up. So we'll just wait for that to happen and anticipate. Okay, so that's worked. You can see that we've got the version number here without that V in it, so it's removed the letter and then we've got the link, which is the right link. So we've got our information now. All we need to do is do the actual check. So we'll just hit stop and go back to our code. So if we go to our update checker, instead of just printing this out, what we want to do is compare it to the current version. So to get the current version, we do um, plugin, get description, get version. And then to compare it, we do if that is equals the version, like so. And if it is, that means we're up to date, so we can return true. Like so. Nope, that's wrong. Because this is meant to return true if an update is needed. So it's not equal to that, that means an update's needed, and then we return true. I thought that didn't make any sense. Okay, so now we've done that, what we need to do is create two methods to return the link and version. Because these are both private, um, and we don't want to be able to modify them from outside of our, you know, this object. So just under our update needed method, what we'll do is create a um, new method called get version, which just returns the version. Oops, and we'll create one called get link, which just returns the link. Oops, there we go. So now that's pretty much it. Well, that is it? That's completely done now for our um, for this update checker, assuming it works. That is. So let's just go back to our plugin class, and we'll replace this call here with an if statement. So we'll do if update needed, because it now returns the correct value. So if update needed, we'll show some information. So we'll say um, we'll log some information. So we'll say log info a new version is available oh dear available is that right? no is that right? It doesn't really matter <laughs> that's probably right available ah no hang on no oh, it really doesn't matter <laughs> new version is available and then we'll add on the version number, which we can get from the update checker, get version. And then we'll do a link to the download, so we'll do this log info, uh, get it from, and then the download link. So this update checker, get link. And that's it. We're done. 
So as a final test, let's export this one more time. And note the version number is 0 0.1, so we should see this update message. Let's go to our server, give it a start, and wait for it to load. Um, OK, loading, loading, creating worlds, doing the late check. So you can see we've got this, a new version is available, 0.14. Get it from download link, and what we'll do as a final test is set the version number to 0.14 export it one more time start it up again and now we should see that there's no update message um, now notice that we haven't actually compared the version number so say if someone had a somehow had a newer version so say they had 0.15 um, it will still show the message and you can see that it hasn't appeared this time um, now that's not really a problem if you only distribute files via uh, bucket dev because nobody will be able to download a file that isn't the latest version, that doesn't make any sense. But um, if you do have that you know, situation um, possible, you should look into actually comparing the version numbers to see if it's you know the newest version. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, I can't think of anything else. So yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully my new microphone doesn't make me sound too weird. Um, I haven't actually hurt myself yet. Anyway, that's enough. Thank you for watching, and... Goodbye, I guess.